And uh, right now, very pleased to have with us on the program from the great state of Texas, Congressman Blake Farenthold is with us. Congressman, good evening. Hey, good to be there. Well, thanks very much for uh, for joining us. You know, uh, it's been a few weeks since we've talked to you about Fast and Furious, and since then there's been uh, a staggering amount of new developments, I- including now uh, 12 names of senior DOJ officials that uh, Representative Issa and uh, Senator Grassley uh, want to know about. Were these folks involved in Fast and Furious at all? Uh, I mean, what, what what's the latest from where you're sitting inside the Capitol? Well, the the investigation just keeps on going, and as we keep digging, it just looks worse and worse. You know, if you look at the history of government investigations, it's the cover-up that gets you all the time. Yeah. First, you start by not cooperating with Congress, and you look at the documents that came over to us originally, where the bulk of everything was just blacked out and uh, redacted. Uh, you know, it, I, I don't know where it's going to end. I'm starting to believe it goes higher than we thought. And if this goes all the way to the attorney general, it's time for him to resign. You know, we also uh, did see the Department of Justice and uh, Deputy Attorney General uh, James Cole, uh, I'm sure, you know, acting on uh, 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 what uh, Attorney General Holder told him to do, uh, announced these new gun regulations for federally licensed firearms retailers in California, Arizona, New Mexico, and your state of Texas. Uh, what do you think about these new regs that the uh, Obama administration says are vitally needed to uh, to, to cut down on uh, the, the cartel violence in Mexico? You know, if they hadn't let the guns walk across in their failed investigation, we wouldn't uh, be where we are right now. I think this is just another uh, attempt of this administration to get between American people and their Second Amendment rights. This is just building a database of gun owners. And and. Do you think at this point, Congressman, I mean, based on what you've heard, um, is the Obama administration, in your opinion, using this scandal of their own making? I mean, because Fast and Furious is their operation. Now that they've been caught, are they using uh, this gun control uh, push as a way to distract from Fast and Furious? You know, I've been trying to think what rational explanation there could be for creating uh, and doing Fast and Furious the way uh, that they did it, where they let these guns just walk away. And I can't come up with anything short of thinking that this was a political ploy to uh, bring gun trafficking into Mexico into the news to support some sort of anti-firearm agenda. I mean, I'm I'm not a big conspiracy theory person, but I can't think of anything else. Oh, okay, I can think of one other thing, and it's just utter and complete stupidity. Well, and that's the thing. I mean, you you heard the ATF field agents uh, who, who testified before the House Oversight Committee, and they said, we can't think of a legitimate reason to do this. We can't think of why on earth we would be told, no, let the guns go across the border, when when we can't keep track of them once they go down there. I mean, once Once we lose sight of them, We've lost them until they show up at a crime scene. You know, the the culture in Mexico is not like our culture here. I mean, it is against the law in Mexico to own anything beyond a twenty two uh, or a shotgun. There's yeah. a very, very strong gun control in Mexico. If we are good neighbors, we need to work with the uh, Mexican government in enforcing those laws. It's like letting our vicious dog into our neighbor's yard. Yeah, we, we've got to be good neighbors, and when we know that there is a problem, like with this uh, Project Gunrunner and Fast and Furious, we need to be working much more closely with the uh, Mexican authorities and give them the opportunity to protect their border, just like we ask them to help us protect our border with respect to drugs. Absolutely. And, and you know, the, the word that you keep mentioning, uh, Representative, is border. Border. Uh, I mean, this, uh, to me, this isn't a gun control issue. This isn't uh, necessarily a drug control issue. This is a very clearly a border control issue. Well, we have definitely got uh, uh, an increasing level of violence on the border, and it, it's got to be dealt with. But as you and I both believe, the way to deal with violence is not to take firearms out of the hands of law-abiding citizens, and it's to enforce the laws that we have on the books today and not let uh, th- these guns walk across the border when we know exactly where 
they're going in contravention of both American and uh, Mexican law. Well, listen, Congressman, I appreciate you coming on the program tonight. Uh, uh, keep keep digging on this story, will you? Uh, we will. You know, I never thought uh, I never thought the Government Oversight and Reform Committee was going to be my favorite committee, <laughs> but it is my it, it is my favorite committee. It's bringing my old days as a lawyer and talk radio show host uh, together and. and digging for the truth and i'm having a lot of fun doing that well i understand uh besides this you guys are also taking a look at the uh uh the video that that president obama taped in the white house as to whether or not that violated some campaign laws well again we've got to follow the laws that we we have on the books and we've got to bring a level of transparency into the government we've got to re-earn the american people's trust by doing the right thing every time. Congressman, thank you again for coming on the program. Look forward to doing this again soon. Thanks. Thank you so much. Representative Blake Farenthold joining us uh, from Texas this evening.